Your Excellency, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Ryder and all ILO staff for the submitted report. It reaffirms again the core mandate of the ILO in supporting sustainable development and promoting social justice worldwide. We all acknowledge that any initiative arising from the concept of sustainable development involves setting and reaching more substantial goals in the context of social justice for each country as well as for the entire world community. It's no coincidence that achieving gender equality and empowerment of all women and girls is high on the UN 2030 agenda. Despite considerable progress over the last decades, gender segmentation persists in all labor markets out of the, of the world. Women still face discrimination in employment, in decision making, and access to economic assets. They are forced to work in temporary jobs, enter in short-term or informal labor relations. Therefore, the topic of the day Today's discussion is an opportunity to approach the world of work from a broader context of promoting gender equality and to shape our attitude to possible changes. Azerbaijan attached great importance to gender equality and empowerment of women. As we celebrate the centenary of independence of Azerbaijan, Democratic Republic in these days, we respectfully honor the legacy of the first secular republic in the Islamic world, including extending suffrage to women in 1918, 100 years ago. The government of Azerbaijan continues to promote gender equality in all spheres of life by having ratified all the major international instruments, applying to the protection of women's rights by putting in place strategies and state programs on protection of women's rights, ensuring their equal representation at the decision-making and expanding their employment opportunities. Macroeconomic stability, and achievements in the economic sphere have enabled the government to accomplish its political goals aimed at improving the social welfare of population. Despite our accomplishments, we are confronted with persistent challenge to fully ensure social rights of population. The occupation of 20% of Azerbaijan's territory by the neighboring Armenia and over a million of refugees and internally displaced people in need of special care and social protection poses a threat not only to our country's social development, but to the whole region. Today, in Azerbaijan, women constitute 50.1% of our population. Women's willingness to compete with men on an equal basis, responding to the current challenges of the labor market, as well as their ability to assert themselves in new labor relations, result in their greater representation in governance, business and power structures. In Azerbaijan, female participation in the workforce is 48.6%. For every 100 students in Azerbaijan, there's an average of 47 women. 53.6% of all scientific workers are women. The first vice president of the Republic of Azerbaijan is a woman. Women are adequately representative in electoral, management and judicial bodies. Women's equality and empowerment is also integral to our national agenda on SDGs. The establishment of a National Coordination Council for Sustainable Development with the relevant decree of the President, voluntary submission of initial national review on six SDGs, including the Goal 5, is a further proof of significance of the SDGs for our country. Implementation of labor and employment policy under the ILO principle of tri tripartism Discussion and decision-making in the Tripartite Committee on Social and Economic Issues set up based on gender parity are the preconditions for the success of this policy. Joint activities with the ILO within the second decent work country program, the election of Azerbaijan as a regular member of the governing body of the ILO is a further testimony of high regard of international community. Ladies and gentlemen, Azerbaijan submitted its bid to host World Expo 2025 in the capital, Baku. The main focus of the proposal is future of education, future of health, and future of the work. Issues of global importance for every individual, every society, and every country. I would like to take this opportunity and to invite you to support Baku World Expo 2025 bid. Thank you for your attention.